Language Arts Lesson 2, Styling Text. In this video, we're going to do two things. First, I'm going to give you an, just a brief overview of HTML. And then secondly, you're going to be learning about adding basic tags. So that ultimately, your job by the end of this video is to add tags to your whole story. And these are the tags we're going to be adding in. And I'll talk more about that in just a minute. So an overview of HTML, what is that? It actually stands for Hypertext Markup Language. There's no need for us to get into a deep tutorial about what it is, but basically it provides the content of your web page. So whenever you see content, things that are written out, titles of stories, titles of articles, um, as well as their content, that's HTML. It's just providing the content of a web page. Twine allows us to uh, use HTML within our story so that we can not only provide our content, but ultimately provide styles as well. HTML, it uses tags to describe the content of your document. And I'll, uh, it'll make more sense when you actually see this used, but you just need to know a couple things. Tags always come in pairs, and they're surrounded by brackets. So here's an example of a tag. They come in pairs, they're surrounded by this less than and greater than sign, and um, they and these are their, their brackets. And inside this tag, it, it's an element. It describes the document content. In this case, this element is a heading element. The next thing that you need to know is that a tag always needs to be opened and closed. So you notice that I've got an opening tag right here. I'm going to put in whatever content I have, and then I've got a closing tag, and closing tags always have these slash signs, a forward slash sign uh, with the closing element tag. So today we're going to be working with, actually, even though I have three tags here, we're actually only going to be working with two tags today. We're going to be working with the H1 through H6, that's why I have the ellipsis here, as well as the paragraph tags. Um, H1 through H6. Those are used for headings. So H1 will make uh, your web page show a large heading, and then H6 will show a small one. And then paragraph tags are obviously used for paragraphs. So let's actually uh, go through this and show you what I mean. So today, what you're going to be doing is adding tags to your story. So if I go to my Twine story, let's start with our H tags, our heading tags. So I go to my introduction. And probably the first thing that I want to add is like my story title. So I'm going to put my less than sign. Here's my H1 because I mentioned that that's the biggest one. So since it's a title, I want it to be big. And I'll put the strange day. And I'll have my closing tags. And now watch what happens. When I close that and when I click play, I now have a very large title which makes my story even better. Okay, So I can go back to this and as I mentioned there's an H1 through H6. So H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6 and each one gets progressively smaller. So you can decide the size uh, that you want for your heading tags and if I go over here and if I refresh my page you'll notice that my heading now became smaller. Well since it's the heading of the story, I want it, or it's the title of the story, I want it to be a large heading. Okay? Just a couple things for your headings. Where will you want to add a heading? Three places. Add a heading tag to the title of the story, wherever it says the end, so that we can see that, oh, it's the end, or any areas where you want to draw attention. So again, the title of the story, wherever it says the end, and areas where you want to draw attention. So if I go back to my story, I've added my title. Let me check for areas where I have the end. No, it's not there. Um, I know that right here I've got a, the end. Oh, okay, so I'll add a tag in here. Uh, maybe I'll make this an H2. So it's not huge, but also it's not terribly small. Okay, And I'll go wherever else I have an, uh, the end and add an H2. Remember your closing tags, have the slash, and now I've got my, uh, <clears throat> my uh, the ends all taken care of. The last place that I said that I you may want to add a H, uh, heading tag is any areas where I want to draw attention. So if I go here, I might say 
something like this. Oh, maybe I want to make this, oh my gosh, something a little bit bigger. So I might say H5 right here because I just want to add attention so that the reader sees there are five to ten large rats on the floor. And when I try this one, if I click test, I can actually go through and let's see, let's go to the school office. You notice that I have something wrapped around few, okay? Go to the bathroom, and there, there's that, that heading tag that I added in. I'll show you how to add images in a future video, but I've got that taken care of, okay? Now the last thing that I mentioned, now that I've added all my heading tags, the last tag that I mentioned is a paragraph tag. A paragraph tag is going to be basically wrapped around content in every, oops, every box of your story. So every box of your story is going to have the paragraph tag. So I'm going to start it with my paragraph tag right at the beginning. I'm going to copy that, paste it at the end, and put in my slash. And you'll notice that when I click play, it doesn't change anything. It actually doesn't change any of the content. That's okay. I'm just marking it. Again, these tags are meant to mark what the content is so I can do stuff with it later. So I'm going to go through each one of my boxes and I'm just going to add these paragraph tags. I copied it and I'm going to paste it there. And as I mentioned, just do that for each part of your, uh, make sure that that's in every box and you'll see why we do that later. Once you're done with that, you are done with tutorial two. So in conclusion, just make sure that you've added tags to all sections of your story, specifically the H1, the heading tags, and the paragraph tags. If, you have, if you're interested in doing more, check out w3schools.com for more information. It's a great site to help uh, beginners start on HTML and eventually CSS.